Hello. In this video, I'll show you how you can uh, simulate clots on the agents using Vellum and then export an Atom's clot cache directly here from Udini with the new uh, clot exporter uh, of the Atom's uh, 2.8. So, here, uh, let me. Here, I have some simple cache with some agents and that have some flags. So the first things that we need to have the proper geo in order to simulate with a volume. So let's generate the geo here and I need some pre-roll. So let's put 20 frames pre-roll. Okay, it's fine. Okay. So now let's prepare the stuff for the flag. So first things, uh, let's set up Let's create this tab for just one flag, and then we will use a for for each loop. So let me take the, the first one, it's agents. Uh, let's select already here the two meshes that we need. Basically, it's just the flag mesh and the pole mesh, and I have the flag mesh, but for this case is called p plane, and then I have a p cylinder one for the pole. Okay, so in this case, here uh, I have the agent zero. Let's unpack the geos here. I have now the two geos. Let's make delete one. Okay. So let me delete the, the cylinder, so I have just the plane, and then another unpack. Cool. So now I have the proper geo here. So let's set up volume. Okay, volume clot, this one. Okay. So is everything set up correctly? Yes, created a, a network here. And then let's pray. Yeah, now it's simulating correctly. So now let's prepare, let's set up for every flag. Let's do a for each. For each primitive. And now uh, this guy here, let's remove. And I need this one here, this one here, and then here. Sorry. Uh, so I need the uh, volume pack. guy here and this guy here and then this one be my output at the end I need a value unpack to unpack the data it's this one and this one uh, one important things let me see if Everything set up correctly. Still, ah, sorry, I don't need this delete. Okay, yes. So here we are unpacking the agents. We are deleting the cylinder, so we're taking just the flag. Here, just important things, just uh, change to promote to primitive attributes in order to have all these attributes that come from the Atoms proxy node and then here then everything should be the same so let's check if the simulation is fine yes let's increase the gravity here 
suppose this my scale is 110 180 better and then let's change let's change the plot properties so my mass will be 10 and also uh, my tick would be just one okay let's see okay this one is correct now let's add a constraint with the pole so first one let's merge all the pole in a single geometry and then we will use that single geometry as a, a target for a, an attached geo constraint so here same process and unpack the agent delete to delete the, the flag delete the flag and then an unpack okay and then here I should have all the pole correctly perfect and now here just add a constraint so the uh, volume um, volume volume attach geo here let's attach this one okay so I think it's fine. Let's point. Uh, let's put the max distance to one. Yes. This one should work. Okay. It's this one. Let's see. Yeah is working fine now uh, let's add the normal because we because we don't have normals here so normal nodes okay and let's put for points Okay, so we are the normal fine and then last step is the uh, plot export uh, so let's go to atoms plot cache writer let's put here. okay so since i have 20 frame of pre-roll i don't want to export the pre-roll so let's put a time offset there my name is 20 let's put a frame range of uh, one eight and then let's set uh, the output but uh, dot dot cache perfect so now let's turn on this one and let's simulate and export cool so let's turn on this one we are finished let's check with an atoms with another atoms proxy so let's take the cache sorry let's take see the cloud cache here this one the cloud cache let's take the variation let's take the cache path so let's remove the 
uh, pre-roll that I don't want it on this one uh, let's generate mesh let's see sounds good this one for a faster preview cool so yeah as you can see, it's quite easy to export your plash from, from Udini. Thanks for watching.